Welcome to this video about the 10 most dangerous cursed objects of all time. You are about to enter a dark and mysterious world where inanimate objects can have a sinister and scary power. So, get ready to discover the stories of objects that have brought bad luck and death to anyone who possessed them. Are you ready to embark on this journey? Then, buckle up and let's go! 10. The Okiku Doll The story of this doll is incredible. It comes directly from Japan, a land rich in traditions and mysteries. It all began back in 1918 when a 17-year-old boy bought the doll for his beloved 2-year-old sister. Little Okiku played with her new toy every single day and loved it so much that she gave it her name. Until an insidious pneumonia suddenly took her life, but the doll was never forgotten by the family. In fact, it was placed on the altar dedicated to the little deceased girl, and there the parents noticed something extraordinary, the doll's hair was growing. Convinced that the spirit of their beloved child had entered the doll, the parents decided to entrust it to a Buddhist temple, where it still stands today. But the Okiku doll never ceases to amaze. In fact, the doll's hair is cut every month, but it continues to grow back to a length of 25 centimeters. A phenomenon that has fascinated many, but has never found a scientific explanation. 9. The Anguished Man Have you ever heard of a painting so cursed that it provokes screams, moans, and even shows disturbing black shadows? We are in the realm of the supernatural, where the painting, The Anguished Man, is the protagonist. Sean Robinson's grandmother inherited it from a friend of her grandfather, an unknown artist who would have used his own blood to create the work. From that moment on, Sean's house was invaded by strange presences, screams, moans, and even a damned soul in the form of a black shadow wandered around the room. Sean and his wife also felt a disturbing presence next to them, and their son broke his femur after falling down the stairs. Tired of the situation, Sean decided to move the cursed painting to the basement, but the inexplicable phenomena did not completely cease. The Anguished Man painting is currently owned by Sean Robinson, who still lives in the UK. Sean has decided to share the story of the painting and to show it publicly through videos and interviews. In addition, he has stated that he does not want to sell or donate it because he fears it may bring the curse to other people. 8. The Crying Boy the Crying Boy is a mass-produced print of a painting that has terrorized the UK for decades. The work, attributed to the Italian artist Bruno Amarillo, has been linked to numerous incidents. The Sun reported the news of a house that went up in flames, but only the painting remained intact. This set off the alarm, and many people who had purchased The Crying Boy reported strange side effects, such as fires and accidental deaths. Later, over 2,500 copies of the painting were returned, and the son took care of burning them. But there's more. In 2010, comedian Steve Punt tried to burn the painting, but it resisted the fire. What secret lies behind this curse? The only plausible explanation was that it was protected by some special substance. Not wanting to take any risks, he abandoned it. 7. The Ouija Board The Ouija Board is a device used to communicate with spirits that can open doors to their world. Using a board with letters of the alphabet, numbers, and some words, participants can ask questions to the spirits, who respond by moving the indicator. But beware. According to legend, the Ouija board can attract evil spirits and cause possessions. In the 1970s, a young woman named Doris Bither claimed to be haunted by four evil spirits that tormented her continuously in Culver City, California. After contacting a couple of investigators, Barry Taff and Carrie Gaynor, it was discovered that she had opened a door using a Ouija board with two friends. Taff and Gaynor were unable to free Doris from the evil spirits, but they were able to witness and photograph the apparitions of these entities. This case inspired Frank DeFolita's book, The Entity, which was made into a film. To not miss out on more content like this, remember to subscribe to the channel, and maybe even put a like on the video. But now let's continue. 6. Busby's Chair Busby's chair is one of the most well-known cursed objects in the world. Its history dates back to 1702, when the owner of the Busby Stoop Inn, Thomas Busby, killed his father-in-law Daniel Oddy with a hammer after a fight over Busby's favorite chair. Before being hanged for the murder, as his dying wish, Busby cursed the chair. From that moment on, every person who sat on it, died under mysterious circumstances. The chair was locked in a cell in the inn's basement, but that didn't stop people from going to see it. After the death of a delivery boy who died shortly after sitting on it, the next owner, Tony Earnshaw, decided to donate it to the Thirsk Museum where you can find it attached to the wall. 5. The Myrtle's Plantation Mirror 
The most famous cursed mirror in the United States is located in the Myrtles Plantation, one of the most haunted houses in America and Louisiana. Its history dates back to the late 1700s when plantation owners committed horrific abuses against slaves. It is said that the spirits of the owners are permanently trapped in the mirror as punishment for their evil deeds. This special mirror has become famous for the ghost stories surrounding it. Millions of visitors flock there every year to see it, and it is said that by taking photos of the mirror, you can capture spectral images of the owners. If you are a fan of the supernatural, you cannot miss the Myrtles Plantation and its infamous haunted mirror. 4. The Annabelle Doll The story of this doll, which inspired the movie, Annabelle, is based on real events. In 1970 a student named Donna received an old rag doll, specifically a, Raggedy Ann, as a gift. The doll seemed to have its own will, moving and changing position on its own. In addition, strange help messages appeared written on parchment paper. After consulting a medium, Donna and her roommate Angie discovered that the doll was possessed by the spirit of a dead girl named Annabelle Higgins, who lived on the land where the apartment was located. Despite the warnings of their friend Lou, the girls decided to keep the doll, but Annabelle proved to be increasingly dangerous. In fact, she attempted to strangle Lou in the night and subsequently stabbed him, causing seven deep cuts that healed within a few days, despite having been inflicted violently. In the end, the local church fathers put Donna in touch with Ed and Lorraine Warren, well-known paranormal investigators. The two decided to analyze the doll and, after some frightening episodes, declared the presence of an evil spirit inside it. They then decided to place it in a case, in the Warren Occult Museum, where Annabelle still resides today. 3. The Mask of Tutankhamun The funerary mask of Tutankhamun is one of the most famous masks in the world, but also one of the most dangerous. It is said to have brought bad luck and death to anyone who has possessed it. Discovered in 1922 in the tomb of the pharaoh Tutankhamun, many members of the expedition that found it suffered unfortunate events and died under mysterious circumstances. It is said that shortly after its discovery, its curse manifested itself with the sudden death of the expedition's financier, Lord Carnarvon. It is said that the curse also struck Howard Carter, the archaeologist who discovered the tomb, who suffered a series of accidents and illnesses before dying of lymphoma. 2. The Hope Diamond The Hope Diamond is a gem famous for its beauty, but also for being associated with a long series of tragic deaths and unfortunate events. According to legend, the diamond was stolen from the Temple of Rama in India and was cursed by the god who protected it. After passing through many owners, the diamond ended up in the hands of London banker Henry Thomas Hope, from whom it took the name Hope and its dark reputation. In fact, since the banker purchased the gem, it is said that he suffered a series of unfortunate events, including the loss of his home, much of his fortune, and the death of several family members. It is also said that the diamond caused the deaths of numerous jewelers and subsequent owners. The Hope Diamond is currently on display at the Smithsonian Institution National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., in the United States. 1. The Dybbuk Box It is said to have been built in Poland in the 1930s and to contain an evil spirit of Jewish origin, the Dybbuk. A woman sold it to Kevin Manis, telling him she had received it after her grandmother's death. Once opened, he found a candle, a cup for wine, and two locks of hair. That same day, he experienced something similar to a robbery. In fact his store was turned upside down, but nothing was missing. His employee claimed to have seen light bulbs shatter and someone curse, in addition, the scent of jasmine was in the air. After passing the box on to his family, who suffered its terrible effects, he decided to put it up for sale, but the only buyer returned it, complaining of the usual problems. Once locked in the basement, Kevin claimed to see ghosts in his home, in addition, at night, he woke up with scratch and bite marks. In 2003, for $140, Losef Nitsky took possession of it, only to complain of the same paranormal phenomena. The last buyer was Jason Haxton, who said he began coughing up blood and experiencing constant fatigue. Since 2017, Zach Baggins, host of Ghost Adventures, has it on display in his museum in Las Vegas. And with that, our journey into the world of cursed objects comes to an end. I hope that you have been struck by the stories I have shared with you and that you have found this video thrilling and interesting. If you liked it, leave a like and comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss the next videos. See you soon!